take PS1 games. What's up, Internet? Corey Zamier here, collecting with Corey. We're coming to you with a quick pickup video, just leaving the thrift store now. Uh, and normally I don't do these, but I wanna have like recorded um, videos of like decent finds I've had. So I spent $122 and some change at the thrift store today uh, and was able to find some decent stuff. Uh, went in the afternoon. This is not a morning trip. Uh, first up, we have a Xbox 360S console. Um, this one, I'm going to assume, is not going to work because it does have the refurb sticker on it. Well, I mean, I'll test it. We'll see. Uh, but it had the 250 gigabyte hard drive, which most of these are missing. And the hard drive I can sell for at least 20, usually $25 uh, shipped. Random uh, Power Rangers Dino Charge Blaster. I've sold these before. I think I sold it for probably like $15 for the buck. PS2 uh, see-through blue, 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 blue controller, uh, $6. Usually get about 16, 17, 18 for these, but it was in really nice shape, so I decided to pick it up. Um, this I was surprised to see just like hanging in the back of the store. Normally this is something they would have up by the front. Uh, a PSP 3000 model. I actually didn't know that until I just looked. Um, it says as is, of course, all their stuff is as is. It's missing the battery cover compartment part. So I'm not sure if this will work. I will have to see and maybe it could update my PSP. So a very good deal on that regardless. Uh, they also had random chargers sitting in the back. So I have a uh, Nintendo DS charger for five bucks. And now these aren't great prices for these chargers, but they're good to have on hand and you're gonna not get a better deal if you need to order it off eBay. Uh, I'm just pulling stuff out at random because this is an impromptu pickup video bunch of Star Wars uh, action figures and some random dice from something. I don't know what that's from. I'm not even on camera here. Yeah, I don't know what that's from. It's not as interesting. It's just probably really valuable. This was hanging out at the back of the store. This is a Sony Discman, the D25 model. Now I haven't researched this extensively, uh, but it was five bucks and the comp I did see saw it selling for over $100 for parts. So I'll take that any day of the week. So we'll test that out. Hopefully it's actually working. Uh, we have a Game Boy Advance SP charger and a 3DS charger. And then we had some cartridge games that they had there. They actually have a bunch left. Uh, for prices that I was not willing to pay. Nothing crazy. If you're collecting for yourself, it's not that bad, but this is all for resale. Um, yeah, NES, Super Nintendo, N64. These were the most reasonably priced out of them. We got a $10 Mario 64. Picked that up for $10 any day of the week. I'm not sure if this one's worth it. I know this is on a lot of people's hidden gems list, so I took a risk on it. $10 for Blast Core. And then I also didn't look this up, but Killer Instinct Gold, I don't see very often, so $12 for that. And then probably the best deal there and the no-brainer of the, you know, whole pickup. Zelda A Link to the Past for 10 bucks from Kraz, Krasny. Thanks, Krasny. So that's gonna do it for this quick ups video. Like the video, subscribe if you're new, and as always, keep it real internet. I love you guys.